Welcome Math 10 students. Today we are talking about combining like terms. Make sure you have a notebook out, especially for Math 10, that you can write these notes down in. So what are like terms? Like terms are terms whose variables and their exponents are the same. Okay, since that term is bolded, you should be writing that down in your notebook and feel free to pause the video at any time. So here are some examples of what like terms are. I have 2x and negative 7x. Those are the same because they both have a singular x. Here I have negative 8x squared and 3x squared. Both of those are the same and are like terms because both of them have the same variable and the same exponent, x squared. Here we have xy and xy, x squared y, x squared y. If we go to the unlike terms, I have a 2x and a negative 7y. Those are not like terms because this one has an x and this one has a y. In negative 8x squared and 3x squared, these are not like terms because although they're both x's, one has a squared on it and one just has a singular x. Here I have xy and xz. Those are not the same. Here this one's a little tricky because I have x squared y and I have xy squared. Here I have an x squared. Here I just have a singular x. I have a singular y on this one, but I have a y squared here. Okay. So combining like terms, we're going to start this off simple. Okay. So to combine the like terms, you do it by adding or subtracting the coefficients. That's the number in front of the variable and keeping the variable the same. So here I have a seven X and an X. So I'm going to combine the coefficient here. There is no coefficient, but we know that that is a one. So I'm going to combine those two, seven and one make eight, and I keep the variable. Okay, here's another example. Okay, we want to get our like terms together. So we're going to start with the highest one, which is four X cubed. Do I have any other X cubes? No, I don't, so that stays the same. Okay, now let's go to our next highest one, which is our X squared. So find all the X squareds. And we're gonna combine the coefficients, which is three minus the one. Three minus one is positive two. So that's plus two X squared. I don't have any X's, so I'll move on to the constants, which is negative seven and positive two. Negative seven plus two is negative five. And that is our solution. Last example. <clears throat> the width of a rectangle measures 2.1a plus 1.3 centimeters, and its length measures 4.5a plus 2.9 centimeters. Which expression represents the perimeter in centimeters of the rectangle? So anytime you have a word problem, it might be good to draw what it's talking about. It's talking about a rectangle. So there's my rectangle. Its width is 2.1a plus 1.3. Okay, and one thing we know about rectangles is if this side is 2.1a plus 1.3, this side is also 2.1a plus 1.3. The length is 4.5a plus 2.9. And we know that these are the same because it's a rectangle. Okay, and then we need to know what perimeter is. Well, perimeter is the length all the way around the rectangle. So how are we gonna solve this? Okay, well, we're gonna add all these together. 
So 2.1a plus 1.3 plus 2.1a plus 1.3 plus 4.5a plus 2.9 plus 4.5a plus 2.9. So we're going to look for all of our like terms. Okay, so I've got 2.1a, 2.1a, 4.5a, and 4.5a. And we're going to add all of those together. Take your handy dandy calculator and add all those together, and I get 13.2a. Then I'm going to add my constants together, 1.3 plus 1.3 plus 2.9 plus 2.9. And that gives me 8.4. Okay, so my perimeter is... 13.2a plus 8.4. All right. Thank you, guys.